We do hear now that they want to do something more on anti-social behaviour. They are fed up with nuisance neighbours holding loud parties or risky behaviour in the streets or on the car, in our cars, and they are thinking about bringing in more fixed penalty notices. Well, the Prime Minister certainly knows all about that one. The first ever Prime Minister to ratchet up not just one but two penalties for law-breaking in the space of 12 months, surrounded round the Cabinet table by multiple rule-breakers and other repeat offenders who chose to ignore warnings about rule-breaking by a record four of his Cabinet ministers that he appointed and who's chosen to appoint as his Home Secretary and his Justice Secretary the two jobs most responsible for establishing respect for the rules, enforcement of the law, two people who he was warned in the autumn were both under suspicion for breaking Minister's own rules. I give away to the Honourable Member. Mr Deputy Speaker. Anna Firth. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, would you ask the Shadow Home Secretary to explain what this has got to do, please, with the matter that we are debating this afternoon? If I believed that the Honourable Lady was out of order, the Right Honourable Lady was out of order, I would have said so. Yeah. Yvette Cooper. Thank you, um, Mr Deputy Speaker. I have to say to the Honourable Member that um, if she does not see any connection between establishing respect in our communities, respect for the rule of law, respect for the rules, a sense of enforcement, exactly. and the behaviour of government ministers on the fixed penalty notices, the law-breaking by the Prime Minister himself, then what she's doing is reflecting that same problem of this culture across the Conservative Party that it is just one rule for them and another for everyone else. No wonder no one takes them seriously on law and order anymore. I said I would decide when the line has been crossed. The honourable, right honourable lady is in grave danger of crossing the line. Yvette Cooper. With respect always for the rules as well as for the rule of law. <laughs> Mr Deputy Speaker, 